Today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this. What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Ben Drittenbass and this is my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome. Uh, I post videos about fishing and other South Florida hobbies that I like to do. So would love for you guys to join the family. Make sure you guys click that subscribe button down below. You guys can catch up on all my past videos and make sure you guys hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos that I post in the future. So the wind's been blowing 25 miles an hour for two weeks straight here in South Florida and it has been impossible to get out on the boat. So I figured I'd take this opportunity to do something with the fish head that I've had sitting in my freezer since my Kubera snapper that I caught uh, from a few videos back. My buddy Sean just caught himself another nice Kubera and gave me the head for that one so I figured I'd make a few jaws like the ones that you can see up here. So after further consideration, I thought I'd do some research and give it a shot to try to make a full skull euro mount rather than just the jaws. So, today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this. Now, as I mentioned, I intended on making two full skull mounts out of the two Kubera snappers that I have. However, my dog Rowan thought that she might have other plans and she got a hold of some of the bones on the smaller snapper. So, my loss is your gain. I was able to salvage enough bones to put together another one of these. So I have a jaw mount that I am going to be giving away today. I'm going to do my first giveaway on the channel. So stay tuned and I'll have directions later on in the video on how you can enter to win this guy. So today, I got the deep fryer fired up. We're gonna try boiling the heads. I've also heard that boiling makes it a little bit easier for the fish to come off the bone. So I got the deep fryer set up out here. I got the dog. Everybody say hi to Rowan. So it's my first time making an attempt at the overall skull. So stay tuned. Hopefully we can figure it out. At the least, we're gonna get another jaw. All right guys, so we got our water up to a rolling boil. We're gonna start with the smaller head. We're gonna go ahead and drop it into the into the pot we'll probably cook it for about 30 minutes on second thought I think we got enough water in there that we could probably drop both of these heads and cook them at the same time yeah let's do that all right so we're gonna drop both of these heads I'll drop the second one all right guys so the timer just went off it's been 30 minutes the fish are done cooking you can see You can't really see. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the fish heads out. We're gonna set them on a sh uh, cooking sheet and let them cool for about another 20, 30 minutes and then we'll start taking them apart, finding all the pieces that we need and then start cleaning them up. All right, so I found this little colander looking thing in the kitchen. We'll see if I can help scoop this up without it all falling apart on me. Perfect. Careful, it's hot. So it's amazing how much meat it's still left on the heads of these things. That's some good cheek meat right here. Okay. Oh yeah. Alright, it's giveaway time. So, here are the three things that you need to do in order to qualify to be entered into the drawing to win this Kubera Snapper Jaw. Number one, you have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Number two, you need to follow me on Instagram at Ben underscore Drittenbass. I will put that in the description below. And number three, you need to leave a comment below on this video telling me which one of my videos is your favorite that I've posted so far. If you do all of those three things, you'll be entered in to win this jaw right here and I will mail it directly to your doorstep. So I'll give it five days from the day that this video is posted and then I will make a drawing and I will announce the winner on my Instagram page, which is Ben underscore Drip Bass. And now, back to the action. All right, so now's the fun part. We're gonna try and dismantle this snapper head and try and get all the bones that we need to save to make the entire skull mount. We're just gonna go very carefully, piece by piece, make sure that we have two of everything and hopefully we get lucky.
All right, so I think I got all the pieces that I need to put this thing together. We will see when it comes time to actually assembling it. Um, but I did the best that I could uh, trying to pick all the bones out very carefully, making sure that I had two of everything. A few pieces may have broke, so it might get tricky, but um, I'm going to now go ahead and soak these overnight in some hydrogen peroxide. So this is some 40V. I got this on Amazon. It's a concentrated hydrogen peroxide. So I will dilute this. Um, do be very careful when you handle this. It can and will burn your skin. Um, but it's much cheaper to buy it in bulk than to go to the store and buy the little bottles of 3% hydrogen peroxide. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and soak these, fill this container up. This is just water. So I'll just dilute it with some water. And then add some hydrogen peroxide. All right, so we got our big head and our small head. We're gonna let these soak in the hydrogen peroxide overnight. And then tomorrow we'll come, we'll hit them with the hose, we'll get a toothbrush and we'll start picking off all the meat and all the leftover tissue that's still on the bones. And then we'll soak them again and uh, see how they look. And if they look nice and clean, then we'll go ahead and start assembling them. So stay tuned and we'll be back tomorrow. All right guys, I let these things soak for about nine or 10 hours in the diluted hydrogen peroxide and took them out, went ahead and took an old toothbrush, scrubbed them down, took a kebab stick, got into those really little nitty gritty spots to get as much of the fish and uh, you know the skin and all the cartilage and soft tissue out of there as I could. After that, I went ahead and re-soaked them in a new brine of the diluted hydrogen peroxide. And I got them out here in the garage right now. I'll leave them here overnight just so they don't stink in the house. And um, tomorrow, I will take them out, let them dry, see how they look, maybe give them one final cleaning. Um, depending on how much oil I see floating in the containers, then uh, if they look good, I'll go ahead and start doing the assembly. So we'll see you in the morning, and we'll see how these turned out. So if you can see, there's a little film, like a grease layer, forming right on the top of it. That's what we're trying to get out. That's what the hydrogen peroxide is going to do. It helps get all that oil out of the fish bones. And that's what's going to turn the fish bones nice and white. All right, guys. So uh, all the pieces have dried out in the sun for a few hours. And we brought them inside. We've got them all laid out. And now we're going to try and put these together like a puzzle. So. I've got a few Google images that I just got pulled up on my phone of what they look like. They all kind of seem to be a little bit different depending on how many pieces you get. Uh, it was not easy digging through and finding all the pieces that we need. Um, but one thing that I have done before is I've made a few of the jaw mounts. Um, so I can go ahead and start with the jaw. So we'll start here. For this, I'm using some gel super glue and a hot glue gun. Here's the update. I've got our two bottom pieces here. I don't know what these are called. I'm not a scientist, I'm a marine biologist. Um, but there's some type of a, uh, a cheekbone or some type of a gill pole. And then I've got my jaw that I've just raced up and I just glued that on. So next I'll be putting on our, our front gill plates here and here. And then we'll start working our way back. So when I was doing my research on how to put these back together, I was looking for a video or some type of a guide step by step that would show me which piece went on which part, like, you know, the whole, the hip bones connected to the thigh bone. I just could not find that anywhere. So I really wanted to make this video to do a tutorial on how to put one of these back together because it, there are a lot of pieces. There's a lot that goes into it. Unfortunately, I was trying to do this and learn on my own and maybe I'll do that again. You know, leave a comment below. Let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in. Um, but this is the end product. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, 
I feel like if I would have tried to show you guys everything that I went through to get it to this point, it would have been a very boring and long video, or at least much longer than this one is. So, um, I think this is going to look really good up here on my desk to go with the other ones. And uh, I can't wait to do another one. Uh, I would love to do a, a 90 pound Kubera or, you know, a big Wahoo or a Kingfish, I think, or a Dolphin. I think anything that's going to have big teeth would be a lot of fun and makes a great display. So um, leave a comment below. Let me know if you guys have any tips, tricks, if you guys have done any, what your favorite one is, or if you want to see me try another one and make another video, leave a comment below and let me know. But that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.